गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास है मैथमेटिक्स कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ कैन यू फाइंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज यल नाउ वी विल सी इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज हाफ इयर If the rate of interest is quarterly, then how can you find the compound interest, and what will be the changes in the formula? I have explained for finding the compound interest. There are two methods. First, we can find the amount. A is equal to one plus R by hundred power n. You know A amount. What is the amount? The amount is the sum of principal and interest. P principal, the money which is lent or borrowed, that is called principal. And rate of interest, it is uh, generally given in the percentage. Time period of time, you know, maybe in year, maybe in month. But now we see if the rate of interest is half yearly, then how will you solve? So this is the formula because for right, for right, जो ये R की जगह में R by two हो जाएगा, and number of period, suppose one year का है. तो नंबर ऑफ पीरियड कितना हो जाएगा टू बिकॉज हाउ मेनी हाफ इयर्स इन वन ईयर टू सपोज फोर आवर्स फोर इयर्स का हो तो एन कितना हो जाएगा फोर मीन्स एट हाफ इयर्स एन एन इज कर टू एट हो जाएगा सपोज टू टू इयर्स है टाइमिंग एंड इफ द राइट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाफ इयर So this n will be two years. Means how many half years? Four, four half years. So that will be n. Ye ho jayega n is equal to four. Or similarly, right? If the ten percent is yearly, so you have to take out the half yearly. So that that will be five percent. इसी तरह से क्वार्टरली भी निकालने के लिए हो सकता है तो क्वार्टरली में क्या है जैसे मान लेते हैं वन ईयर में राइट है सपोज ट्वेल्व इयर्स ट्वेल्व परसेंट सॉरी तो राइट विल बी हाफ हाफ ऑफ हाफ मीन थ्री परसेंट क्या हो जाएगा ये क्वार्टरली क्वार्टर में निकालना हाफ ईयर भी रहेगा राइट तो यरली ईयर रहेगा लेकिन निकालना है हाफ ईयर भी यानी आफ्टर एवरी हाफ ईयर इंटरेस्ट इज एड टू द प्रिंसिपल एंड दैट बिकम्स द अमाउंट और उसी तरह से सपोज एन जो टाइम है टाइम सपोज वन ईयर है तो हाउ मेनी क्वार्टर्स इन वन ईयर मीन्स हाउ मेनी थ्री मंथ्स सो दैट विल बी फॉर दैट विल बी फॉर समझा रहे सो इस तरह से यदि निकालना हो तो दैट फॉर्मूला विल बी लाइक दिस और इसको हम एक क्वेश्चन को हम सॉल्व करते हैं एंड नाउ यू विल सी हाउ कैन एंड बिफोर सॉल्विंग आई एक्सप्लेन ऑफ दिस इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर सक्सेसिव इयर्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट हो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सेकेंड ईयर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट थर्ड ईयर लाइक दिस तो उसका जो अमाउंट है हम इस तरह से निकालते हैं और वन प्लस आर वन बाई हंड्रेड वन प्लस आर टू बाई हंड्रेड वन प्लस आर थ्री बाई हंड्रेड एंड सो ऑन सो ये सक्सेसिव इयर्स में यदि रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट डिफरेंट हो सो दैट फॉर्मूला विल बी यूज ग्रोथ एंड डिके समाइम यू कैन सी कि देर इज ए सपोज पॉपुलेशन Of a town increases during the year after one year after two years. So, its population निकालने के लिए जो जो हम 
uh, what will be the population after some period of time? So, it's go 1 plus b by 100 power m. b jo hai right or right is ka. This rate se wo bada. Or yadi suppose population is decreasing, so that will be decay. So, decay jab ho ka, to it's ka ye, ye minus me aja ga. Ye is 4 percent hai, 4 percent decrease ho ga hai. So, you will do this formula and will be the time. Or appreciation and depreciation. You know, number of examples, suppose you have purchased a car and after four or five years you will you try to sell. So the price will be less. That is, that is called depreciation. The price will have depreciate for it. Or suppose if you have purchased the land. And after some years, you will, you try to change, uh, to uh, sell this piece of land. So price will be more, so that is called appreciation. So this is one example, you can understand what is the appreciation. So if the value, if the price increases at some rate, so that price is appreciated price, appreciation. And if the value of any item, any material uh, decreases, so that is called depreciation. So it's go something and all these uh, problems can be solved in this chapter for interest. So now you see one question half here. So exercise 9b, you can see in the book, I cannot write all the question. So question number <clears throat> question number five. Anyone in? One, two, one, two, three, and one in Ghana hai. Or bad problem may be what you have to you have to find out what is principal, what is the rate, what is time. So easily you can find out. Question four, Rina and uh, Ruchira borrowed 60,000 and 50,000 three years ago they have taken the loan. Rina paid simple interest rate of 10 percent. Ruchira paid compound interest at rate of 10 percent. So who will pay more interest and by how much? The question is what? First you will find the simple interest for Rina. So you will use the formula of simple interest, P into R into T by 100. Principal is given, rate is given, time is given. And for Ruchira, you will find the compound interest for uh, the money she has taken the loan, given is uh, 50,000. So you will find the compound interest. Both you will find simple interest and compound interest. Simple for Rina and Ruchira, uh, for Ruchira you will find compound interest. Question is, who will pay more interest? Now you can compare. You can compare which amount is greater. You will write the answer. Rina will pay more or Ruchira will pay more. I don't know. So after solving you will find. So they say, question number five banate hain. Because this is here is a half year with your head, this is a banana. P is equal to principal 40,916. And uh, this money was given to Amar to purchase the shop. And the rate is 12.5%. This is the rate. And interest is compounded semi annually. Semi annually means semi means half, you can understand. So half year living after every six months. So six monthly and time, time is one and a half year. Time, one and a half year. Time, one and a half year means are ye yearly hai? So half yearly kitna? How many half years in one and a half? Three. One and a half year means 18 months, divided by 6, you will get 3. So n is equal to no, 3. And this is 12.5% uh, annually. 
तो 12.5 अपॉन 2 परसेंट हाँ इसको हम सिंपल कर लेंगे तो 12 बाय 125 बाय 10 इनटू 2 परसेंट यहाँ पे लियो रहेगा 5 से कैंसिल कर लीजिए 5 25 5 तो जाते हैं 25 25 बाय 4 25 बाय 4 परसेंट what is this? Half yearly. Ye half yearly ho gaya. Ah, sorry. Ye jo easy ka ho gaya. Ha, ठीक है. Half yearly कर लिया. Twelve point five means ka ho jayega. If you understand in decimal, so this will be six point two five. So this is half yearly rate of interest. And now use that same formula. But only question is if the interest is to be paid half yearly, so you will change the given term into how many half years? That will be end. Term is one and a half year. One and a half year, how many six months? Three six months. So that three is the end for the formula for the solving. And rate is 12.5%. Yearly, half yearly, half yearly means you have to make it half. To make it half means you have to divide by two, then you will get 25 by 4 percent. You can change to this one also, so no problem. And now you find, and what you have to find, you have to find the, <coughs> the interest. What is the interest paid by your man? So interest nikali I have explained do for do formula first you can find the amount and then you will subtract principal from this amount so that will be an interest so a is equal to and make a direct formula here so that is easy method a is equal to p into 1 plus 100 power n the principal given 40,960 and but R is not 12.5. This is 25 by 4. And this is 100. And this is N is equal to 3. No, yeah, 3 by 3. So that's all. This is the um, technique you have to learn. And then you have to simplify. 25 for the 16, 1 by 16, 1 by 16. And now four zero one nine six, and this is into understood. So there uh, you, you will find the sum. So this will be seventeen by sixteen. Sixteen say ये निकाल से होता है. Two से भी काट सकते हैं. Eight से भी काट सकते हैं. ज़्यादा भी काटना है. तो sixteen जो था फिर two eight sixteen भाग जा eighty nine हाँ sixteen से कैसे हो रहा है? Sixteen two जा thirty two वैसे आप छोटे-छोटे नंबर से भी कर सकते हैं, सिंपलीफाई कर सकते हैं। सिक्सटीन जो है थर्टी टू एट, सिक्सटीन फाइव जो है एट्टी नॉन, सिक्सटीन सिक्स जो माइनस सिक्स जीरो, एंड दिस मींस टू फाइव सिक्स जीरो इनटू सेवेंटीन, सेवेंटीन इनटू जीरो, सेवेंटीन सिक्स जो वन हंड्रेड टू कैरी ओवर टेन, सेवेंट and nine, forty-three. What is this? This is the amount. This is the amount. And then you find the simple yes, confirm rest. Or say direct formula we have to put our hands in the house of the hand. Now C I is equal to A minus P. So now it is forty thousand five hundred twenty minus forty thousand nine hundred sixty. That is the component is 0, 0, 0, 12 minus 6, 6, here is 4, 14 minus 9, 5, uh, yeah, here will be 2, 2 minus 0, 2, 4, and this is cancel. 0, 6, uh, 6, 6, 12, 31, 9, 5, 14, and 15, 31. This is the compound interest. So now, what is the technique here? You will find out whether the rate of interest is yearly or half yearly. Two things you have to do. 
whatever rate is given, you make it half. For doing this, you will divide by 2. That will be rate. That R will be given value in this formula. And time is given one and a half year. So now you can understand how many half years in one and a half? Three half. This means n is equal to three. That's all. These two are important. And these two if you learn and remaining just like annually, whatever you find. Quarter B is ho. Quarter B is ho. That is the question ho. So how do we do? R 12.5%. Quarter means half of half, 1 by 4, you divide by 4, so that rate will be changed to quarter three. And time is 1 and a half year, 1 and a half year means how many quarters? 3 half year means 6 quarters, so n is equal to 6, and r is equal to this upon, this upon 4, half of 4, half of half. So this is the only question. Or uske baad increase or decrease mein bhi hum question banayenge. To aaj to isko hum bata diye ki ye appreciation or depreciation. What are these two terms in this? The value increases after some period of time. That is the appreciation. The cost of any material or any article decreases. That means that is depreciation and population and different type of questions can be solved by using this formula. For more questions you will solve, more you will learn. So I suppose this is enough for today. So class 8, combining this and next time we will find some growth and decay and appreciation, depreciation, all this uh, two, um, we have to use the control in this formula amount. So that's all for today, and you will try to solve, and then we will make later on. Thank you, and have a nice day.